Hi, in this demo video, we'll go over NSX VPC. We'll start with an introduction of NSX VPC and go over our demo environment and show the product demo, which is divided in two parts. Let's start with the introduction. NSX provides software defined networking for VMware Cloud Foundation, VCF. Among many other features, NSX includes VPC functionality that enables cloud consumption model in a private cloud running on premises. With NSX VPC network, network admin can empower application owners with a self service networking model in their private cloud. While providing the guardrails and keeping full visibility and control of their networks and security postures. NSX VPC provide an extremely simplified consumption model for application owner or VI admins to create and utilize NSX networks without needing to have any in-depth knowledge of the underlying networking constructs. This self-consumption networking approach help reduce the number of tickets that application teams have to create, resulting in faster go-to-market launch for applications. Together with NSX VPC and NSX projects, customer can achieve a true multi-tenancy. So let's go over our demo environment. Here I have created pre-created an Acme Finance project where I have two VPCs being pre-created, one for commercial banking and another one for retail banking. Commercial banking already have few subnets, uh, three subnets being created and some virtual machines being attached to them. In this demo, uh, we will showcase on two personas First is the project admin, project admin can see all the VPCs in the environment or related to that project. And we also have another persona, VI admin, who is the uh, application owner and have access to only this VPC. Uh, as part of the first uh, phase, uh, we'll focus on the VI admin and create uh, NSX networks. We will create uh, two networks, one for uh, our uh, database and another one for uh, web. And uh, we already have Pre uh, existing virtual machines, so we'll attach with these uh, networks that we will create. So, we'll show how easy it is to create uh, an SX network uh, for the VPCs, and we'll focus on retail banking VPC and show that uh, when we create any network constructs or um, security policies, the boundary for those constructs remain within VPC and this VI admin won't be able to see any other VPC or uh, any networking on security constructs uh, of any other VPC, just the retail banking. So let's get started and we'll uh, switch our focus or switch our screen uh, to the live environment. Okay, so we'll start our product demo and log in as VI admin for retail mobile application to the NSX UI. In the home page, we see a tile that shows an overview of all the constructs we will be creating. And we have a sub menu for VPC. Let's click on that. Uh, as I mentioned previously, we already created a retail banking VPC and this user have access to it. 
which is under Acme Finance Project. So we only see this one VPC and um, user really will start by creating network uh, to connect their virtual machines. And I'll click on the connectivity and we have subnets here. Uh, currently there is no subnet. So we'll start by creating a new subnet. Uh, let's add a subnet with name retail uh, mobile web. And uh, here we can select the type of subnet we like, public, private, or isolated. Uh, so this is for the web, we'll click the uh, public. IPSN will be automated. And next thing we pick is the size uh, of this subnet, so how many IPs will be part of it. And we can also provide a description. Next, that, that's all really we needed, right? Uh, we provided the name, uh, the type of access mode, and the size of the uh, IP addresses. So from an end user perspective, that's all the information they'll need to put in. And voila, you know, the network has been created and we can start including our virtual machines here, right, from the end user perspective. But uh, let's click and add one more private network for our maybe database network. And we'll keep this private and give the size and save. And it's get successfully initiated. Let's close this. Other things we can do within VPCs or network services uh, currently we already uh, every VPC come with uh, uh, default net settings and we can add new red net rules to it and also security uh, for our east west firewall and north south firewall uh, so there are certain rules that's pre-created uh, that comes in by default uh, and the last rule is any any drop and there's certain uh, rules that's allowed so once we'll attach the virtual machine uh, after that we can start creating new rules or policies to allow uh, maybe web traffic on https and between web and database virtual machine will allow on mysql uh, so those kind of con day to configuration can be easily done by the end user uh, through this portal and again all the firewall rules have been creating uh, the boundary of these rules will remain within the uh, vpc and will not affect either uh, other vpcs within this project or uh, default projects okay uh, next, we will attach virtual machines to this uh, network we created in NSX. On another tab, I have my vCenter open. Um, so let's go in, in the vCenter inventories. And here I have retail mobile web and database virtual machines. Um, so edit the settings and change the network created NSX network. We have retail mobile DB and retail mobile web part of the VPC subnet. The network in NSX we just created. We can do the same for the web virtual machine. Edit the settings and change our network. So it will be part of the VPC network. Let's go back on NSX and within the subnet, we should be able to see these new VMs. See the showing as a subnet port. So this is our DB. We'll click on the subnet port and we see the DB VM already attached here. So this was a great demo where we logged in as the VI admin and created the networks for our retail banking mobile application and attach our pre-existing virtual machines. 
Now for the second part, we will switch our focus as project admin and see the holistic view of both these VPCs. And as part of the exercise, we will create a new VPC. Uh, and we'll name it investment banking. VPC. Um, and we'll showcase uh, how, uh, you know, to create a VPC and what um, simple steps needed uh, to configure it. And also, uh, we will we'll provide access to the uh, few users uh, for that VPC for the end users. So let's go over our demonstration for the uh, VPC creation for, as a project admin. Okay, so the second part of our demo, we'll log in as project admin to the NSX UI. And, you know, the look and feel is completely different for this user to the same UI. Um, even though we are in our Acme Finance project, we can see more in the overview page. And we also have more uh, menu items available, including networking, security VPCs. And here you can really see the back end of the uh, NSX components, including tier one gateway segments, etc. So if I click on the VPC realize object, we can see uh, the retail banking VPC and our uh, commercial banking VPC that we showcased in the previous demo. We also have segments uh, that we created retail mobile web and retail mobile uh, DB segments. And we can see the VPCs. And again, this is from the project admin perspective. Uh, we can see the both retail banking VPC that we previously showcased and also pre-created our uh, pre-existing commercial banking VPC all in one page, including their connectivity, network services, and security posture. Uh, so in this demo exercise, we will go ahead and create a new VPC. So I'll hit this uh, big blue button of add VPC and provide the name. We'll select a T0. Uh, we'll like uh, this uh, VPC to get connected to. And also provide the IP block. I've pre-created some IP blocks for external and internal. And um, we can, you know, select those, or we can create. Uh, click on these three uh, dots and create a new IP pool. So let's do that for the investment banking. And provide our cider for the IP address. We can also provide a DNS uh, server IP here. And uh, another mandatory field is to provide the edge cluster itself uh, that we pre-deploy. And that's it. Um, once we you know, provided the T0, the IP blocks, and the edge cluster information and hit the Save button, in the background, uh, the creation of VPC will automatically create T1 router and would we'll attach it with that uh, T0 router that we selected in the previous screen. And um, so from uh, even from project admin perspective, they really don't have to create and configure the, the routers, um, the logical or distributed routers in NSX. Next, we will continue our configuration because we will add uh, a user base to it. So I uh, click on the under users uh, set and we will add local user and provide a role for it. One of our local users that we pre-created investment banking VI admin. And there are a list of pre-created uh, roles that we can assign and we'll go with network admin and security admin 
for this VI admin role. So it's pretty easy, uh, you know, a few clicks and we were able to create a new VPC and added a new user uh, as an end user for this VPC. But there are a lot of other advanced uh, options that are available for customers to add more uh, within this VPC, including, you know, creating uh, security posture uh, and, and network connectivity uh, that can be done either from the admin uh, project admin side or from the end user side as we have uh, shown before well, let's close the editing and this really concludes the the demo for the vpc with nsx